Hey guys, welcome to the 104th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, do different things with this concept right here. So basically, just different variations of this method. And in the previous tutorial, we wrote this access all method, which will basically just go through every control on the form and set the text equal to Adam. And when you double click on your button or just click on your button, um, just have it call this access all method and pass through all of the controls on the form. And on your form here, just have a few buttons, one of them being in a group box, have a couple check boxes, and a label. So once you have all that, just go ahead and double click on your first button right here. So instead of changing all the text to Adam, let's just go ahead and disable all the controls. So we're just going to set the enabled property for every control equal to false. So it'll just disable it. So now when we click this button, it should just disable all the controls on the form right here. Yep. But let's say we wanted to uh, only disable the buttons. So in order to check to see if the control is a button or not, we can just say if. C and then use the is keyword to check if the button. So if the control is a button, then we want to just uh, disable that control. So now when we click this button, it should just disable only the buttons on the form. Yep, all the other controls are still enabled. But if you wanted to change a property of a control that is only part of that control, such as if you wanted to check both of these checkboxes, we can't do like uh, C dot check. That's not a property for a control. So like check. Yeah, no, it's not there. So what we're gonna have to do is first we're gonna check to see if it's a checkbox or not. And if it's a checkbox, we're gonna have to create a new checkbox. So I'm gonna say checkbox, and I'll just say C H I guess equals um, C, but as a checkbox. So this will basically just cast C as a checkbox. So we'll convert this control into a checkbox, and then we can use the checked property because it's only in the checkbox class. It's not in the control class. So now we can do ch dot checked and just set that equal to true. So now this it should check all of the controls on the form. So it should be there should be a little check mark in this box for both of these controls. Yep, perfect. Another thing that you can do is have it loop through and create event handlers. So if you wanted to make it so that no matter what button you clicked, it would always go to the same method. So that if you click button one and you click button two, both of those you get a message box saying the same thing. Well, instead of just double clicking on this button, double clicking on this button, and then creating two methods to, that do the exact same thing, well, you can do this. We're just going to uh, check to see if the control is a button. So basically we're going to check to see if it's a button and if it is a button we're going to cast uh, C as a new button and then we're just going to create a new click event right here or create a new click event handler and we're going to say we're going to do this so that no matter what button you click on the uh, form it will always go to this method right here because it basically goes through every control and if the control is a new button it will add this click event to that button and then it will always go to this method. So I'm just going to have a message box display saying you clicked a button. So now if we were to click this button it will go here, if we were to click this button it will go here and if we were to click this button it will go to this code. So now we debug and after we click this button now, no matter what button we click, we should get you clicked a button. Click the button, you click the button, and you click the button. But if we click on any of these controls right here, we don't get that because it only did it for the button because of this if statement right here. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.